Hi everyone, today we would like to present to you about our clinical teaching module for central nervous system. Before introducing the detail for our module, RTT should know the type of CNS tumor. The most common primary brain tumor include glioma, medulloblastoma, acoustic neuroma, meningioma, pituitary adenoma, and metastatic brain tumor. Each tumor has its own location and different radiotherapy te treatment technique is needed to treat it. Therefore, in our module, the common and also advanced radiotherapy treatment technique will be introduced to patients which include 3D CRT, IMRT, CSI, SRS, and SRT in different modules. Besides, the, an the anatomy in CNS will also be taught because the organ at risk, OAR, is a very important issue in radiotherapy planning. Several important publications such as Quantec and ICRU will also be introduced in the module as it gives important information for those to target tumor and organ at risk. In the end, the patient care approach will be taught as it is an important role of a professional radiation therapist. Next, the objective learning of this module, there are three objectives. The first one is the student should be able to identify the suitable patient positioning and immobilization device in the radiotherapy of CNS tumor. It means that the student can give a reason, for example, in CSI technique, prone position is suitable for the cooperative and adult patient. This position also allows a direct radiation to the posterior spine as well as the field junction. In terms of immobilization device, prone base plate is used. Why? This is because the angulation is needed in order to avoid beam divergence to the mandible, which is a critical organ. Which therefore, the students should be able to know the suitable patient positioning and immobilization device as well as state the reason. Secondly, the student should be able to understand the concept of treatment planning of sand estima. As we know, sand S involves two major areas which are the cranium and the posterior spine irradiation. Therefore, the student should be able to know the GTV, CTV, PTV, organ at risk, beam arrangement as well as dose prescription. The last one, the student should be able to apply the pre, during and post procedure of the radiotherapy of sand estima. Therefore, the student should know the side effect of the treatment as well as the patient management. Next, our student evaluation will be divided into three parts, which are the online quiz, assignment and OSPI. The weightage for the online quiz is 20%, for the assignment is 30%, or for the OSPI is 50%. There will be two types of online quiz, where one will consist of objective and subjective questions, which should be answered within 30 minutes, while the second quiz will be the short essay question, which should be answered within 45 minutes. As for the assignment, there will be the individual and group assignment that will be explained later in detail. All the assignments should be submitted approximately one week after learning the topic. Lastly, for the OSPI, that has the biggest weightage, we'll be using the Microsoft Team application for a video call examined by the radiation therapist. During the call, the student will should be able to explain all the procedure asked by the examiner. The examiner will be evaluating the student's understanding and confidence in answering all the questions. Next, I will be explaining the contents of our module. Our module is divided into five sessions, where the first one will be on the introduction of CNS tumor. In this session, we will be focusing on the anatomy of CNS and the type of CNS tumor, be it benign or malignant. In order to ensure our students understand this part, we will be assigning them a mind map to do in a group with a mini quiz using Kahoot. The next session will be on the radiotherapy planning system of CNS tumor, which focuses on the target volume, organs at risk, dose prescription, and beam arrangements. To evaluate our students on this session, again, a group assignment will be given where the students will have to design the treatment plan based on a case study or clinical situation. For example, if the patient is not able to lie down flat or if the patient cannot cooperate during treatment, there will be a short essay quiz on the TPS of CNS tumor. Next, our third session will cover the patient care of CNS tumor, where the pre, during, and post procedure management will be taught. We will assign the students to a role play video in a group based on the clinical situation and again a mini quiz using Kahoot. After that, the fourth session will be on the external beam radiotherapy (EBRT) technique, which consists of the 3D conformal radiotherapy (3D CRT) and intensity modulated radiotherapy (IMRT). But our main focus will be on the cranial spinal irradiation (CSI) technique. We will be we will be evaluating them individually on a reflective writing and a short essay piece on these techniques. Our main focus for the CSI techniques is specifically on the beam arrangement and matching field techniques like the collimated couch rotation, the half beam block, jaws asymmetry, and penumbra trimmers. However, we will still go through all the basic points on treatment planning, like patient positioning, whether it's spine or prone, the usage of prone base plate, back lock, and PDS. We will also include the treatment planning system, including the posterior fossa post planning. We will also discuss on how all these properties will affect the patient. For our fifth and last session, we will talk about the advanced external beam radiotherapy, which are stereotactic radiation therapy, SRT, gamma knife, and cyber knife. And then we will have a wrap up session where there will be an interactive online discussion in a fun game named Musical Screen. The game Musical Screen consists of five levels, where each level will have three rounds. The difficulty of the game depends on the level, and the duration of each level is 15, only 15 minutes. The timekeeper must be alerted on the duration time of the game, and the leader has to ensure the smoothness of the game. The rules of the game are simple. Firstly, the lecturer must display the randomizer app on the screen, which will display the selected student's name. The student will be required to answer the question given by the lecturer, but is allowed to discuss with her, his or her friends for 3 minutes first. 
The levels of the game are based on the topics on the module, which are as follows, with the introduction being the easiest level and the advanced external being radiotherapy will be the hardest. As for the content delivery, there will be a PowerPoint version of the notes on every topic with articles and journals with links as additional information. There will be also be a pre-recorded lecture and animated video on the selected topics as video presentation. The musical screen will be on Zoom Meeting, Google Meets or Microsoft Teams depending on the availability.